The law for the conservation of momentum is one of the most powerful laws in physics. In the situation of a collision, if it's in an isolated system, the total momentum of the two objects before the collision is equal to the total momentum at the end. Hence, the momentum is conserved. In this first example, object one collides into the car. Object one stops and the car is propelled forward at roughly the same speed or velocity as object one. The momentum has been transferred from the first object onto the car. This is why seat belts exist. They prevent the person from being propelled away from the car in a collision and save their lives. In this next example, two cars of roughly the same weight are subjected to a collision. When car 1 collides into car 2, its velocity is halved and transferred onto the second car. They both move at half the original velocity of the first car, but the momentum is still conserved. That impact. Mm. Half of the momentum is transferred onto the other car. In this example, two cars crash into each other head on. Two cars exert an equal force to each other. The forces are equal in magnitude and opposing in direction, causing the cars to repel away from each other, tying into Newton's third law. These are action and reaction forces. We can now conclude that in any enclosed car collision, the momentum is always conserved. Drive safely.